Hey guys, it's Ryder here with my Arrow Season 5 trailer breakdown. Now, I know I've done a bunch of other Arrow Season 5 trailer breakdowns, but when I mean trailer, I mean trailer. This was a two and a half minute full length series season trailer, and I'm gonna have to say it. I'm gonna have to, I have to say it, okay? This looks freaking incredible. You can't tell me it doesn't. Whether you are a fan of Arrow, a casual fan, a hater, whatever, this looks like Arrow, the way I knew Arrow when it was an amazing show. And I just want to tell you guys this. I have to point this out. Arrow was the one that started the Legends and Flash and Supergirl. It started all of this big universe here, okay? And it did that because it was so good to begin with. And this season, it is definitely coming back to it. And you could just tell. It's the tone of the trailer that seems to set the tone of the whole season. The, the silent and kind of soft and cinematic opening it has. And then the, the crisp but... I, I like kind of tangy uh, music that uh, we kind of just get thrown into. And then the first words of the whole, of the whole trailer. Oh man, did they get me? All right, so let's just break down this whole thing. There's so much to talk about here, and I'm probably not even going to be able to cover all of it, but we're going to talk about as much as we possibly can. So let's start right here, like I said, with those opening words. So it's some woman. It sounds like it could be Thea. I don't know for sure. Uh, it could be somebody else. Didn't exactly sound like Fia's voice, but nonetheless, we hear someone say, I heard you work long nights, or something like that, and I, I don't know, I, I just, that really got me, and then you see Oliver, with again, with this really crisp music, you, you have Oliver just looking at somebody on the rooftop, and they're all tied up and everything, and then we hear Thea go, bringing killing back to the table is not an option, and then, you know, then she goes, that's not what she would have wanted, and then Oliver goes, well, the dead don't want anything. And that's, that's the, those are the words right there. You've told, you that right there you've sold me on the season. Bringing the killing back. And I'm not saying I like morbid and scary and all of that death. I'm not saying I, I need that for this to be a good show. What I'm saying is that you are bringing back a hardcore green arrow. The green arrow, the arrow that we all knew from season one and two. Brutal, willing to do anything. And then we also hear Oliver say that he's out there by himself again. again more throwbacks there. This is is what I'm talking about. And what makes this an even greater dynamic is because he's also mayor. You're forgetting that Oliver Queen is the mayor of Star City. And then at night, while well, you know, in the daytime when he's he's protecting everybody, telling everybody everything's gonna be great. You know, I've got plans. We're gonna make the city great again, right? Donald Trump style, right? And then he comes, he goes at night, and then he puts on this hood and he's killing these bad guys. I love that. I, I really do. I love that dynamic. I don't think there's ever been a better dynamic on this show with Oliver Queen ever, okay? Um, Thea and Diggle, I loved... I'm just going to mention them first because we didn't see much of them in the trailer. I love the way that they're sprinkled in there. And I, the way the reason I, I say that is because they seem like they are going to be in there for some really good story arcs. A couple good ones. But on the side, they're going to just be the supporting characters that we need. Especially characters like Diggle. I want to see him be more of the character that he was back Back in season one and two. And I'm not saying I don't want more character development for him, but what I'm saying is that I loved how he was his bodyguard. And I loved how he, Len, you know, Oliver had to ask him, hey man, do you want to join up with me? You could be a, a sidekick or a, a partner of mine. I love that. And I really hope we get to see more of that again. Uh, Thea, on the other hand, we know she's going to be taking more of a, uh, a backseat to the whole vigilante game, and she's actually going to be running more of the mayor office, and she's going to have a real high position up there. Um, so probably like Oliver's right-hand lady or secretary or something like that. And uh, she's going to actually be doing a lot of the work, a lot of heavy lifting. You want to know another plus? Not a ton of felicity. A couple good, good, you know... I guess I'm not going to say good, but a couple, you know, decent dialogue shots of her, and that's all I want, because that's all I freaking care about. I don't need any more of this baloney with her and Oliver. You know, the, I, I, I'm I fine with the decisions they made in season four. You know, I've come to terms with it. But I'm just, not, all I want to say is I'm just happy that she's not going to be a front, you know, main stage player. You know, she's going to just be a little bit more toned down, and I think that's all anybody's really asking for. Um, and then you have, you have the big deals here. You've got the big deals. Of course, Oliver, he's killing again. He's more brutal. And then we see the new recruit. He's like, I'm all out there myself. I can't do this. And then Felicity's like, your team's out there. 
They're waiting for you. And then we just hear this great music, great music. And then we, we see Evelyn Sharp. And then we see Curtis Holt. And we, we're going to see Wild Dog. And Ragman, who is a character that I actually thought was going to be more of a villain. Because usually he is kind of on the verge of being a hero and a villain. I wouldn't even call him an anti-hero. He's very much a controversial type character. But the fact that they're making him a, a hero or a good guy is amazing. Uh, plus the fact that he's Jewish. I love that. I don't think there's enough Jewish superheroes out there. I know that's never been a big, uh, <laughs> a big, a big calling, right? You know, it's all, it's always more female superheroes. But hey, another Jewish superhero. There we go. Um, but I am, I'm very happy with this team. I'm very happy with the suits. Wild Dog. I've said it before. I'll say it again. This suit is just beautiful. It is a gorgeous suit. Ragman's suit also looks identical to the way it does in the comics. Uh, Evelyn Sharp is Artemis. Oh my God! I just forgot she's Artemis. I just said she's. A Wow, oh, this season, it's crazy. I'm, I'm very excited for this, and I hope that it's going to be a good payoff. Um, all right, so let's continue in with this trailer. So again, more good music, tons of action. And when I say action, I mean action that I don't think we've ever seen before on Arrow. Like, this is going to be, like, some of the greatest fights that we've really ever seen here. And I, you could just tell because it's not all from one episode. It's all from layered episodes. You know, we see the Cody Rhodes character, who we're still not sure who that's going to be. I'd love for him to be Sportsmaster, but chances of that don't look to be too high considering the way that he's, you know, uh, he, the way he looks in the trailer. He's has no, he's not wearing a shirt. He looks like he could be a prisoner of sorts. Um, so we'll, we'll see where that goes. But I don't think he's going to be Sportsmaster. I'm not really sure. You guys can let me know in the comments who you think he might end up playing. Um, but, you know, from there, like I said, tons of amazing action. Tons of great stuff like that. And I, I don't know. I just, I think that to me is a big deal. You know, the action needs to be hardcore. It needs to be the way that it was supposed to be, again, from, you know, this opening minutes of season one. Uh, and then within all of this, within all of this great shots with the team aspect and, you know, the, the new, the new suits and the new characters and all of this, we get Bratva. Oh my God. The flashbacks, they look incredible. And I, I don't think I've ever said that. I haven't said that since, you know, season one and two when Oliver was still on the island. The flashbacks look incredible. The Bratva. So you, we hear Oliver saying, my family, my family's gone. They're dead. I have no home. I have no life. And then we hear him saying Russian, or, you know, whatever, uh, I'm Bratva, and I just, I, lo I almost lost it, that was just awesome, and then we see Dolph Lundgren's character, who supposedly he's playing the supervillain Red Star, so we'll see where that goes, I don't know how much of that's actually going to play out, Bratva seems awesome, Oliver's going to be chilling with KG Beast, so just really cool stuff there, really cool stuff, and I think that's going to be a really nice layer on top of everything that is going on in current day, we also see the villain Tobias Church, we hear him say, Pain isn't the way to get through to people. It's fear. And uh, that was a big deal. And that leads into the other big thing that's going on in this trailer. There's a new vigilante out there who we, we know, and uh, the audience knows is Prometheus, who is actually killing these people brutally. These, like, awful, exotic, you know, just, like, fish hook type, you know, murders. And it's all coming together throughout the city. And then also with the aspect of Oliver killing people now, the Green Arrow killing people now, you know, raises the question again. And we also don't know the philosophies of Wild Dog, Artemis, and Mr. Terrific. Now, my, from just my personal per opinion, I don't think Mr. Terrific's gonna be a killer. Artemis, uh, on the other hand, easily could be. And same thing with Wild Dog. Um, Ragman, we really don't know much about him. Seriously, we don't know. We know more about the other characters, but you know, we're going to have to see where all of these other characters really go. Uh, we get tons of more action. Tons of more action. Uh, just the green arrow suit looks incredible. The, the firing of the arrows seems so fluid. The dialogue seems pretty strong. Um, we, we have a shot of Oliver doing the salmon ladder in a business suit. That's so, it's just, it's just cool. It's cool. This is a show that I've been waiting to see. This is not, I can tell, you can tell by the trailers, the feel of this season. 
I swear to God, if you guys go and watch the Arrow Season 4 trailer, like the real, real trailer for it, and then you watch that uh, right before the Arrow Season 5 real, real trailer, you can tell the tone of the seasons are completely different, and that is so much better. The show doesn't need to be fun and, and light and, you know, comedic relief. That's The Flash and even Legends to some capacity or another. Uh, Arrow is its own thing. It should be its own thing. It is gonna be good. It will. I have really high hopes for this season. I really think it's gonna pay off. Um, and there, there's no doubt that it's not gonna pay off. And there's one last shot, or I guess two last shots I want to mention. The first one, though, is this really got me, and it is the four new team members, Mr. Terrific, Artemis, Wild Dog, and uh, Ragman. And they, the four of them, they're, they're, you know, in their civilian clothes, and they're in the Arrow Cave, and they walk up to the, the, you know, the suit holders, or whatever, the mannequins that hold the suits for, you know, Speedy, Black Canary, Diggle, and the Green Arrow, and they all stand in front of one. Ragman stands in front of Black Canary's suit, uh, Artemis stands in front of Speedy's suit, Mr. Terrific stands in front of Dig's suit, the Spartan suit, and then Wild Dog stands in front of the Green Arrow suit, and I almost kind of feel like they're maybe foreshadowing something here, here, um, maybe... Maybe, like, a character, these characters kind of filling the roles of sorts. Like, you know, maybe Wild Dog takes on a bit more of a leadership-type role, and Artemis takes up, you know, the, the powerful female role, and then maybe they're hinting at Ragman could die because Black Nary died. I don't know. I could be reading too much into this, but I really thought that was a powerful shot. And then, of course, the last big one is Tobias Church, who's supposed to be a really big villain this season, kind of like a crime boss type of, you know, uh, Falcone-type villain at this season. Season, and he's actually being held, his, he his head's being held, you know, down to the ground by Prometheus. And then he's like, who, who, who are you? And then Prometheus goes, the green arrow is mine. And then it's just arrow. And I'm really, really excited for Prometheus. The villain suit looks really cool. This body build looks really cool. And I just love the way they're selling this character. Overall, I can't be happier with this trailer. I cannot be happier. And, and just from, like I said, from everything we're getting, and, you know, I almost feel like this season, to me, looks better than some some other seasons. Like, I don't know. The, I don't know. It just, it does look very, very good. And I'm just waiting for a full-blown Flash trailer to decide which one I'm more excited for. Usually, I'm more excited for the Flash, but Arrow just looks gorgeous. Oh, my God. What did you guys think of this trailer? Did you love it as much as I did in our are your excitement levels at least amped up a little bit more for those people who hated Arrow Season 4? Come on. You know this is cool. And this is coming from a hardcore Green Arrow DC Comics fan. No bias here. I'm serious. This looks really, really good. Thank you guys so much for watching. And hey, if you like this video, you like my thoughts on Arrow, why don't you click that subscribe button to get my Arrow Season 5 Episode 1 recap and review next Thursday. It should be coming out um, right, be, right after my Flash Season 3 recaps. So um, I'm going to be doing videos for all the Flash and the Arrow and Legends and Supergirl, all the DC shows. So make sure you are subscribed to get those. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'm Ryder, signing off with Infinite Attitude. And keep riding, guys. Bye.